Let's start. The project name is Vali. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Then, we have integrated the Vali library. In the manifest file, we have written the internet permission. Here we have the main activity. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. The scroll view is the root layout. This is the constraint layout. This is the get request button. This is the post request button. This is the text view to show the result. And this is the progress bar. The visibility is set to gone initially. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we create a volley request queue. When the get request button is clicked, we call the get request function. When the post request button is clicked, we call the post request function. In the get request function, first, we show the progress bar. Then we set up the API call using a string request, where we mention the API type as get and the URL. There are two callback functions, on response and on error response. In the callbacks, we stop the progress bar and fetch the data to show in the text view. Here we set a tag to the API call. Here we add our get request into a request queue. Multiple requests can be added to this queue, which gets executed one by one. In the post request function, first, we show the progress bar. Then we populate the data to be sent to the post request. Then we set up the API call using a string request, where we mention the API type as post and the URL. There are two callback functions, on response and on error response. In the callbacks, we stop the progress bar and fetch the data to show in the text view. We send the data to the post request using this getBody function. Here we set a tag to the API call. Here we add our get request into a request queue. Multiple requests can be added to this queue, which gets executed one by one. In the onStop function, we cancel all the pending volley API calls and hide the progress bar. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the API calls using Volley in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.